this is Amanda from Cakes in It. This is going to be our very first cake video, so bear with me please. Um, this is Dexter and this is Madison, my children, who don't normally bake the cakes by the way, but today we're going to show you how to make a mint chocolate chip cake. Um, with this recipe you can change the flavour at all to a jam sponge or just a normal chocolate or any other flavour that you might fancy. When we get to that section, I will explain that as we go along. In the comments later on, there will be a list of all ingredients used here as well. Okay, so let's get started. First, in our bowl, we have 400 grams of caster sugar. Then, from that, we are going to add 400 grams of butter. I use this one, which is Asda's own Best for Baking Butter. You can use Stork or Aldi's or Lidl's or Tesco's own version, any one that you really fancy. Okay, so let's over to you kids. Now we're going to add 400 grams of butter, please, into the sugar. Okay, so we've already weighed out the butter and the sugar uh, in advance, just to make it a bit easier, really, and a bit quicker. There you go. We've left some of the butter in there, so make sure all the butter goes in. Um, I will also say as well, before you start baking the cake, you must wash your hands. Uh, Madison and Dexter have already washed their hands previous to this video. Okay, so let's melt, let's stir the butter and sugar. This is called creaming. We're going to flatten all the butter down with the back of our spoon. And we're going to smush it all in to our caster sugar. Okay, so we're going to, to show you Madison. So, got the butter and the sugar. So, with the back of our spoon, we're going to squish all the butter down. We're going to squash it all into all of the sugar. We're going to get it all mixy, mixy, mixy. Oh my god, that looks so sugary. It is so sugary, yeah. This is why, if we do it with the back of our spoon, as you can see, as I'm pressing the butter down, it's mm -hmm. mixing the sugar it into even all of the butter. Look like butter. It look it just yep. looks like yellow salt. It just looks like yellow. Okay. Yellow when you're not using um, an electric mixer, obviously it's a bit more hard work. There we go, Dexter. And as you can see, most of the sugar now has been mixed into the butter. There we go, Dexter. Do you want to give it a good mix round? Make sure all that butter is mixed into the sugar for me. Again, the back of the spoon is the best thing to smush all that butter down into the sugar. It's done now. Okay, right. It's definitely Now, after we've creamed the butter and sugar together, our next job is to add our eggs, okay? So, we have got eight eggs to add to this cake mixture. This mixture will make two separate eight inch cakes. Okay, so one at a time, we're going to crack the eggs into the mixture and then stir. Okay, do we know how to crack an egg, children? You go like, you crack it on here and then go. Well, onto a hard surface, yeah. And then pull apart. Your hands are going to get messy. Don't worry, as soon as we've added the eggs, we must wash our hands anyway. Yeah. Just pull the, pull the shell apart, yeah. That's it. Egg yolk. And the next one. Okay, so it's eight eggs we're going to add. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. You've got to be careful. I smashed that. I smashed it. Do it over the ball no, like that, Dexter. So you only need to tap it gently, gently, gently to get um, the egg broken. On the table. Very gently, right. and then pull it apart over the ball, pal. Yep. Okay. okay. Try not to just squash the egg. Let just pull it apart rather than squashing it, because as we've just seen there, we had a bit of an egg explosion. Okay, so we're going to keep continuing adding the eggs. So far we've only added five. We need another three to go. So one. Do it on the side. We do it on the side, so it's a bit higher, and then over, and then crack it up right. over. There's it over. 
that we think is inside the egg. Very gently pull it apart rather than squashing the egg right. in. Yeah. Yep, done. <clears throat> Last, Last egg. egg. If any shell does fall into your ball, let's just remove the shell there. Yep. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Now let's just wash our hands. So I'll just pause it one second while we just wash our hands, everybody. Okay. And we're back from washing our hands. So let's carry on stirring the rest of the eggs in. And then we need to add 400 grams of self-raising flour. We already pre-weighed this out, so we're going to add 400 grams of self-raising flour now into the eggs. Don't worry if your egg mixture looks a bit gloopy. When we add the flour, it will all come back together. That's it. Okay, so we're going to mix it. We need to put a, get some good mixing going on now. Okay, so at the moment, while Madison is mixing the flour into our egg mixture here, Dexter is going to weigh out our flavours. So our flavours would either be like you could add a tablespoon, uh, sorry, a teaspoon, sorry, of vanilla, or a lemon flavour if you'd fancy a lemon cake, or cocoa powder just for chocolate, all different varieties of flavours here we can add. We're going to do mint chocolate chip. So mint chocolate chip, we have got our cocoa powder. This can be, again, any brand of cocoa powder you fancy. So for the cocoa powder element, we're going to weigh out 50 grams of cocoa powder. Okay, let's pour it into here very slowly until it reaches 50. It's going to come out quite, uh, don't, yeah, if you just hold it above, there we go. 50, that's half. Keep going until we get to 50. Right, let's add that now into our bowl. Okay. Now, for the mint element, this, if you just wanted to leave it as a chocolate cake, you could stop now at this step. For it to become a mint chocolate cake, we're going to add one teaspoon of American peppermint. Again, any kind of mint flavour would be acceptable. This okay. is Dr. Orca's. Okay, over to the bowl. Right. So we're going to add one teaspoon of mint to that. And then we need to give it all a really good mix. Oh my god. Okay, so we're going to keep mixing in the cocoa and the mint now. Let's have a go. Uh, all this, we need to scrape it all here from around the side. And we'll really dig our spoon in now. So, so as you can see here, we've mixed it all in. So now we've got some yummy chocolate mixture here, haven't we? Okay, right. Now we're going to get um, a bit of, sorry, I forgot about this, a splash of milk. Uh, the mixture is quite hard, so if we add just a splash of milk, so here I have got 100 mils of milk, mix all that into your mixture, it will just make it become a little bit looser. Then this, like I explained, it will be making two, it will make two 8 inch cakes. So I've already greased and lined my tins with baking paper ready to add the mixture so now the mixture we just need to split it equally roughly equally into each tin okay let's make sure that milk is all mixed in okay right let's tip up so yeah with the spoon gently only about half that's about half and then half into the other Yeah, 
So, let's grab the back of the spoon. Just that bit. Quite a lot of mixture there left in. So, we'll just keep scraping it out with our spoon into the tins. Okay, so once we have put the mixture into both tins, we just need to flatten it out a bit. Just flatten it and smooth it all with the back of our spoon into our tins. Okay? Right. Woo, get all the mixture. There we go. Right. Now we're going to set... My oven um, is going to be set to 180 degrees C. Okay? And then we're going to bake both of these cakes in the oven for 45 minutes. That's approximate, again, depending on your oven. After 45 minutes, to check if the cake is done, just need to stick a skewer into the middle to see if there's any mixture that comes onto the skewer or if the skewer comes out clean. If it doesn't come out clean, just leave it in for a few minutes longer. Okay, so let's pop these into the oven and then come back later on for part two where we will then explain how to buttercream and how to decorate your cakes. See you soon.